Hello there, Di here. Today I'm making a card for a challenge at Kaz Colour and Sketch Blog. It's an interesting challenge, it's a weekly challenge. And I'm making a five and a half inch square card from a bit of um, timber grain white cardstock that was I found in my stash. It's a nice firm card. This challenge puzzled me. I, I often I like to take part in in sketch challenges because they challenge me constantly, and this one really puzzled me. And I've ended up making a, an extremely literal interpretation of the challenge. I'm using a stamp, a Stamping Up stamp from an old set, I don't even know if it's still available, uh, called Teeny Tiny Sentiments, and it's Congratulations. And I'm using Stampamajig and Versamark ink um, to stamp that sentiment out on a piece of scrap black cardstock. Rub that over with some um, an embossing buddy to uh, get rid of any static to try and cut down on the amount of embossing powder that hangs about that you, where you don't want it. I have got one of the powder filled ones as well. I think it's EK Success embossing tools, static removal tools, but I think the, the stamping up embossing buddy um, seems to have a corn flowery or a rice flowery content and that seems to be it seems to work a little better certainly on some papers it does anyway I've sprinkled that with silver embossing powder and I've turned the heat tool on let it warm up and then apply it to the embossing powder in the bottom corner of the paper if you heat your heat tool up well before you try and do the heat embossing, it um, doesn't warp the paper hardly at all. There I'm just trimming out the little sentiment banner, ready to add to the tag. I used to Tim Holtz tag die set and the smallest of the plain tags and one of the tiny white ones uh, oh, the white one is a, one of the smaller the two or three tiny tags in the in the die set it's a very useful set this one I use it very frequently just putting on the little ring there and I found a tiny little white vellum butterfly in my butterfly box so I'm adding that to the bottom of the white tag not quite sure where I was going to put that sentiment banner I like to fiddle around and try but on the sketch layout it was across the tag which is about in the approximate place where the sketch had it. I really struggled with this one. I, I came up with several um, different sort of layouts and thinking of using something other than a tag but inspiration failed me so I went for the tag in the finish. I've just got some metallic silver thread which I'm going to thread through the little the little banner the little uh, tag sorry and make a little bow and once that's done I'll put a little spot of silver pearls I don't use these terribly often so I like to squirt a little bit out to make sure it's not going to go splat on me and leave a great dollop uh, it pays just to have it running freely before you try and apply it but this one worked okay it often leaves a little peaky top rather than a dot so if you flick the back of it with your thumb it tends to settle the 
the dot down into a round structure rather than something that looks a bit like a, a witch's hat. Metallic thread is always a little tricky to use when you're trying to make a, a little thread bundle for a card because it has a mind of its own and often refuses to play nicely but um, if you sort of let it go where it wants to go you end up friends in the end. Here I'm putting some large and extremely sticky zots. I've got the remains of a, a roll of zots, the very large ones that I really use and they've become increasingly sticky over time and I, I'm never quite sure whether it's best to get them off with my um, blade or, or just apply them direct and I, I very nearly fell foul of things here. I stuck it to the bench and all sorts of things but finally we got the three of them off and then if you hold your mouth right you can just lay it over the little thread bundle and capture enough of the threads to hold it firmly in place. The tag is actually nice and flat. It looks a little curvy there because of the light that's shining down on it, but it is nice and flat. Just working out there where I can put the sentiment. This is a cast card. It's um, a challenge. They're quite strict about the amount of embellishments and the height of the embellishments that you put on cards. In my mind a cast card is is purely flat, a single layer, just stamping and or in layer, nothing else, but um, I couldn't see another way to interpret this, I'm afraid. But it's handy to have a a fairly um, plain congratulation card you can use it for in your stash you can use it for various events well that's about it nice simple little card hope you enjoyed watching that hope to see you soon here's a still photo of it bye for now <laughs>